And an even more impressive 008 reaction time. Now it's going to be Eric Dillard filling in on the Scott Tidwell car. I'm telling you, it's almost like we had a it's almost like we had a roulette wheel this weekend. Everybody show up, you got a ProMod Life, you got a ProMod helmet, we'll spin the mighty wheel and figure out which car you're gonna drive. Eric. Gainfully employed down there at ProLine. They've got a very impressive operation. Had an opportunity to go down there earlier in the year and check it out. He's got Chris Thorne over here on the right side. See that number one on the side of Chris's car? The reigning world champion. He has joined the Bahrain One team. Sheikh Abdullah, the kingdom. Flat hood and loud. That's a big old pro charger. Tucked down under that Chevrolet skin. Now, interestingly enough, Chris Thorne did not qualify particularly well. He was coming out of the number 11 position. Of course, having said that, the difference between number 6 and number 11 was seven thousandths of a second. So, there is that. A very pro stock ish qualifying sheet when it was all said and done. But Chris is the champ, and he's certainly not poised to give that up without a fight. And Eric Dillard, I don't believe Eric's too worried about points for him, but help Mr. Tidwell along a little bit. Great race. 584, 243, Chris Thorne. Eric Dillard goes 588.5. 5. 242 miles an hour, not enough. Again, both drivers solid on the tree. I mean, you know, no Mike Castellano, but an 034 for Dillard on reaction, 045 for Chris Thorne, and then a 5.847 for Chris Thorne. That is so far low ET of race day. And the number 11 qualifier jumps up here in round number one.